the um, origin of penguins and how they evolved into flightless birds is a question, um, I think that's more for the fossil record because this happened a very long time ago. So the oldest fossil penguins we have right now are about 61 or 62 million years old and they're from New Zealand and they're already flightless. So they have um, a body plan that's similar to penguins but a little bit more primitive in that they have uh, wings that can still fold. Um, the bones aren't quite as you know flattened and flipper-like. Uh, when penguins first appeared, they were living in, in basically this like kind of greenhouse world where temperatures were higher, less sea ice, the continents were in different positions. Um, and so it was a, quite a bit different than today. And so once we got um, ice sheets forming in Antarctica, much, much more towards the recent um, part of their history, they look for places where they can raise their young and Antarctica is perfect. You're not going to find any land mammals roaming around if you're you know, walking in with not to the ice. A lot of adaptations that, that penguins show um, were only possible after they lost flight. So the first penguin um, was probably a relatively small bird, maybe you know, the size of a puffin, because you can't really be that big and be able to fly through the air and through the water. So probably you know two pounds or less. And then once they finally gave up flight, that kind of freed them from this, this uh, bottleneck where they can get much bigger. So over time, penguins got much denser bone. The, the flipper bones really flattened. Um, they get much more solid. So a normal bird has very hollow bones, which helps them fly. They get you know, the ability to store a lot of fat, which helps them stay warm and also store food. So all of these, these really wonderful features in terms of being efficient underwater are, are not possible until you decide I'm not gonna fly anymore. So I think the best thing that ever happened to penguins from an evolutionary standpoint was losing flight.